happiness expert Kathy Donovan joins us now to talk about giving as receiving and receiving as giving. So Kathy, is that a riddle or a fresh perspective there? <laughs> It sounds like a riddle, I know. But really, Tracy, I think we've been conditioned, I say conned, into thinking that the holidays are about presents, meaning gifts, instead of presents, meaning awareness and mindfulness. Look, we're consumed by consumerism. We're really good at shopping, and we're excellent at sharing our time and our resources with others. This is especially true for us women, who for the most part are the CEOs of our family. So when it comes to the planning and implementation around the holidays, we're really good at doing all of the giving. But in doing that, we may miss one of the greatest gifts, which is receiving. So we know how to give, as you say, it's, it's almost intuitive. It's what we do, we buy stuff, we're consumers, but we haven't necessarily uh, been taught to receive. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying, and it's true at any time of the year, but let's talk about the holidays in this particular situation. I want to give you a little example to just make it a little clearer. When some, and I want everybody to imagine a time when somebody complimented you on your outfit, and you dismiss their compliment by diminishing it in some way, either by telling them what you paid for it when you got it on an incredible sale, or by saying that it's been in your cupboard for 20 years, instead of just saying a heartfelt thank you. These things make us feel very uncomfortable. We're not so good at receiving, but you said it, we're so strong in the giving game. So when, we, um, when somebody does give us a gift, though, whether it's a compliment, Tracy, or a new car, our gift to them is to receive it graciously. And that's when receiving is giving. Because in the receiving of the gift and showing our appreciation for it, that other person is filled up with our gratitude. Yeah, there's nothing worse than giving someone a compliment and they just sort of... They say, no, 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 well, whatever, it's old, and uh, no, I could look better. But it's like, but now you're not paying credit to the fact that I just gave you that. And I do that, too. So I've been teaching myself to just take the compliment and move on. Like, thank you so much. I'm happy you think that. So um, <laughs> it's about intent, isn't it, Kathy? Yeah, I think we have to be very clear about the why of gift giving at any time. But let's talk about the holidays again in this context as we move closer to Christmas. Uh, it's important that we honor ourselves, that we honor our budget, and we know why we're giving a gift. So let's talk about the why of giving a gift. In, my, in the context of this conversation and in my view, there are really three types of givers. The first one is a person who gives unconditionally and from their heart. The second type of giver is someone who gives fully expecting to get something in return. And the third type of giver is someone who gives to further their agenda, whether it's personal or professional, doesn't matter. There is something so soul satisfying in that first type of giver, someone who gives just to give and doesn't expect a thing in return. Whereas the other two types of givers, there's a certain stress attached to it. It feels kind of heavy, could even feel kind of competitive. And it can be disappointing when your agenda isn't furthered or when you don't receive what it is you thought you would get in return. And over time, that can lead to resentment, which is hardly the spirit of the holidays. So we want to be clear about what we're doing, why we're doing it, and what expectation we have. Okay, so there's something to being a very good receiver and a good giver. Like, both are very beneficial. Would you say that? Absolutely. And, you know, we need to include ourselves in all of this. You know, at, at the holidays, we're thinking about everybody else. And again, especially women, because we are the leaders in our family and in our society. So we're always giving away but we need to replenish our stores. We need to make sure, as you were discussing earlier, we need to make sure that we practice good self-care, that we get rest, that we make time for ourselves so that we have the resources to actually implement all the plans and all the gift giving that we've got on our, on our list at the holiday time. But we, we want to make sure that when we're giving, we're giving from what we have abundance of. And that's really, again, where giving is receiving because we feel so good about giving 
when we're not giving from a place of lack. Also, we want to be clear that when we receive support from other people, if things get overwhelming and you need help and somebody offers to help you, I always say, say yes, because you're giving them a great gift in allowing them to support you. Let's get rid of all the false ideas we have around giving and receiving. They're not separate. They're not different. They are a cycle of giving and receiving. We fill each other up when we acknowledge and accept and show appreciation. So they're the same thing and we are all deserving of both. Ooh, that's a nice reframe. I love that, Kathy. Also, the most elegant replacement of the earbud I've ever seen on TV. Very nicely done. <laughs> so seamless she did it. She's a pro. Thank you. She always brings us really <laughs> refreshing perspectives, and that's why we love her.